Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge360. In the previous video, we have discussed about generated columns in PostgreSQL database and in this video, we will see about the constraints in PostgreSQL database and how we can implement the constraints and why the constraints are important. There is an example of products table. Suppose we want to create this table and we have declared product number as integer name as text price as numeric. So, so far we know that the data type restricts the kind of data will be stored in a column but the data type doesn't restrict the data that what data we will be able to store for example let's see the case of price okay in case of price we know a price should always be a positive number price usually don't uh, go to zero or don't uh, go to negative number so uh, in this case we if we create the table and i'll show you if i create this table and i insert data here what i'm trying to do is I'm trying to insert a product called pain with product number one and the price is minus 20. So it will allow me to insert because we don't have any restriction on that. Now let's see the data. This is wrong and this should not be happen. So this kind of scenario and also we know that product number we expect that product number every product number should be unique. So in this case also it is it will not restrict us that this product number you cannot insert unless it is a positive number so whatever value we give to product number if this is an integer value it will allow to be inserted it will not check if this product number is already existing or not so to restrict the data into the tables there is a concept of constraint constraints means the restrictions okay so let's see the constraints in postgresql database what kinds of constraints are available and what are the possibilities of implementation using the constraint so let's see the type of constraints how many types of constraints are available in postgresql mainly there are five types of constraints first is check constraint the check constraint will check the kind of value we are providing for example in this case uh, we have provided the value minus 20 that can be restricted using the check constraint we can put a check that price should not be negative or zero and also there is a notional constraint for example in case of pain so the product name should not be blank okay so to restrict this kind of mistake we can implement notional constraint on the name column and then there is unique constraint unique constraint is ensure that product number kind of situation that every time a product is inserted that should be inserted with a unique value unique product number so that can be done using the unique constraint so there is a limitation in unique constraints that it allows a null value into it so that sometimes also puts confusion so to avoid that we introduced primary key constraint primary key constraint is the combination of not null constraint plus unique constraint so both the features are available in the primary keys constraints okay and the foreign keys constraint this is very important for the data integrated point of view so in every relational database management system rdbms foreign keys plays very important role to maintain the data integrity among the tables so we'll see all of them one by one 